Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Fishing with Alias. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you could set up your Bisbee unit on your rudder and put it on pretty much, whoops, any kayak you have. It doesn't matter if it's a Vive Seagulls 130 or a Bonafide SS 127 or even a Hobby, although they have a special adapter for the Hobbies. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you go around it. By the way guys, if you want to buy one of these Bisbee units for yourself, I have a special link down below. If you buy from that link, it's going to help the channel. Now, why will you do that? By you helping the channel, you're going to make sure that I'm able to produce more content like this. Because, as you know, making videos costs money. Now, this is my hobby. This is what I do for fun, but it's still, it's a lot of money. So, definitely, if you decide to buy it, Go ahead and buy it through that link. Appreciate it. Thank you. Some of the things that you're gonna need, of course, is a rudder blade. This rudder blade is the Vive Seagulls 130 blade. I got this one from eSurf Sports. I'm gonna link them down below, but you could also get them from other places like eBay. But I mean, this particular one works. I did it already. I put it to the test, so I will buy it from eSurf Fishing. It's eSurf Sports. So what you need to do is, you need to take your kayak to the water. You need to sit on it and have somebody else help you to mark where that water line is. When you go and mark the water line, for example, let's say it's right here. You need to make sure that that motor is about, where's my thing? Right here. <laughs> that motor is three inches below the water line. So that's about three inches. It's pretty much the length of the rudder right here. When you have that done, when you know where the water line is, you need to go to bitspeed.com and download the instructions on how to do this. And you need to print the template. This is a real life to scale template. Make sure that you don't modify your printing setting when you're printing this so it prints in real life, okay? But let's go ahead and cut it out so we can work with this thing. So when you cut it, you get something like this. Now, as you can see, this template is way wider than your rudder blade. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna make sure that you put it on the right place so you could cut to the right size. The watermark is around here. You're gonna put this top piece where the watermark is. Make sure that you have enough space for the holes that you need to drill. If you put it too low, and this blade is going like smaller down here, that means you won't be able to do one of these holes. So you gotta put it on the right place. If you need a longer blade, maybe you need to get a different blade for your kayak. All kayaks are different. In this case, for the Bonafide SS-127 and for the uh, Seagulls 130, this works fine. Put, cutting the, the rudder right here, all right? So now that you have a mark, I will put in like a piece of tape or something to make sure it's in place and trace it real good and start cutting. Okay, so we got the Bisbee unit and the rudder system, the rudder system is gonna go like this on your boat. This thing is gonna look backwards. So when you put your motor, boom. That is how it needs to go. So your rudder kit is gonna bring the hardware that you need to bolt this in right here. So let's get started with that. All right, make sure that it aligns properly. It has already the cutout for the bolt, for the nuts, I mean. Let me flip it. All right, so it's aligned right now. Let's get the hardware and just put the screws through it. All right, so now that you put the screws through, just flip it. And you may have to take the screw out a little bit so you're able to bolt that in. Well, let's put one of them first. And you can see here that it already has that cutout for the not so they don't turn around and you're gonna be able to just with an allen key like this one able to go ahead and tie those screws in properly so let's go ahead and do that you can see we already have that knot in there we're gonna go ahead and tie it in this screw in nicely so we got the last one to go ahead and make sure it's secure yeah it is So right here you got the Bisbee unit with the DIY kit on the Buy Seagulls 130 rudder blade. This thing could go in pretty much any kayak that is set up for rudder. 
Otherwise, you're gonna have to do other stuff. Now, let's take it down below and put it in on the Bonafide SS127 and show you guys how it goes and how it performs on the water. Don't forget to subscribe. Why? It's free. All right, so if you have a Bonafide SS127 like I do, it already comes with a hole for the rudder, so this makes it easy. It also has the foot controls right there in front that you can use to control your motor. And you would do so with this control system right here. Now, um, I have a separate video that you can check out if you wanna go ahead and wire your SS127 for rudder control or motor control in this case. Right here we have the Bisbee unit with a rudder already installed. We're gonna go ahead and remove this little pin and go ahead and just drop the unit. Now you may have to move this thing a little bit because the motor is not letting it go down, but it did. Oh, right here. And pin the rudder in so it doesn't fly away. Right there, you got it. So we're using this stainless steel as hooked cables right here and we're gonna go ahead and attach our rudder control using this carabiners carabiners boom yeah, nice connection right there you could use a different carabiner if you like you could use one of those sick ties or something that will go through that little hole right there maybe it's gonna be easier for you the reason why I want to have it like this is because I could just easily take it off and take the whole motor system off the boat if I wanted to and if I want to just uh, go for a quick you know when I put it back it's easy I don't have to like kill myself now when you get to your spot you make sure that you deploy that motor right there make sure it's attached to the battery of course make sure this cable is where it needs to be and you see how the motor unit is right now I wouldn't worry too much about this because once you engage that motor it's just gonna go like boom. well gonna go boom like that you see that and it's gonna go right there it's not gonna be like running from here it's gonna be running right here right and that is awesome and if you hit something this thing is gonna pop up now once you stop same thing it's gonna pop up and it's gonna go up a little bit now you could go ahead and design a way to lift this motor up maybe running a cable through uh, doing a hole here running this cable from here boom so when you hit something you just lift the motor up instead of down like see right now it's designed to stick down because like for, for if you're using as a router but you I could you could definitely find a way to do the opposite that instead of going down it's actually pulling the motor up now we're gonna go ahead and take this to the water and run some tests on it it's, it's faster turns really good too it turns really well turns really really well too it's a, it's a cleaner install you don't have to use any mounts awesome this thing works